Hi, now we will talk about the microdata in HTML5. Basically, microdata, as the name says, will give you some detailed information about any particular content in HTML. So basically, like we put the meta tag on the top so that it gives you the metadata, means information about the information regarding a web page. Here, with microdata, it actually gets the information about any particular content or text in the body part. For example, if I say I live in India, so out there, India is the name of the country. So here, what I can do, I can put a microdata in which I will specify that it is the name of a country so that further in the search engine thing or anything anywhere, we can make a use of that information as well. So let's see what is all here is a what WG HTML specification used to nest metadata within the existing content on web pages. As I just said, what WG stands for Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group. So this is something which is responsible for all the modifications. Most of the modifications which we are done, which we are uh, going through in HTML5 is basically done by this group itself. So this microdata is one of the component provided by this particular group to give the detailed information to metadata within the existing content on the web pages. All right. Search engines, web crawlers and browsers can extract this pr process, this data and can process the microdata. All right. As I said, like if India is a country, so in that particular way, we can just extract that. Okay. This is the country name and then I can make a use of this detail any way I want. Extracted info is used to provide richer browsing experience for user. All right. Because obviously that, as I said, that information is retrieved and processed so that it will be helpful for giving the more better user experience to the end user. All right. So let's see a practical implementation where we will use some of the specific semantics while working with the microdata. So as here you can see, it's a very simple example of microdata where I have just written a single text that my name is Anadi Sharma. I live in Hyderabad, India. But here I am using three different kinds of information. First is a person name, where second is a city name and third is a country name. So what I have done, I have just put this span with the attribute called item prop and wherever you will be using this item prop microdata attribute, you will have to decorate that particular section with the my item scope. All right. As here you can see inside this div, I have put item scope and inside that only I'll be using this item prop and wherever the appropriate value I'll find that it is a name. So in the item prop, I will say name. Similarly, I live in Hyderabad. So here I'll put again a span where the item prop will be city. All right. Because, because the property of this item is that it is a city and similarly for this particular that it is a country. So it's not necessary to put this item prop to this particular extent, but just to explain you in this example, I use the three different item props and I decorated each element as per the appropriate item prop attribute. So the output, as you can see, it's not so fancy. It's like a simple text because the microdata is not dealing with the output or the way you will represent a text, but it is all about the internal search engine things. So this is how you can start using the item scope and item prop attribute of microdata in HTML5. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.